everyone and welcome back. It's your girl Marquita with Marquita LV Luxury. On today, I am going to do a comparison with the beautiful Damier Bean Speedy 20 and also the Damier Bean Ammo BB. I am also going to do some, you know, some strap switching around like I always do. And I am also going to go over the complete damage that I have done to my account for the month of June. But before we get started, make sure you view my past videos, like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend how much fun we have over here. Don't forget to visit your girl on Instagram at Marquita LV Luxury. Now that we have that out the way, you guys know exactly what to do. Go grab some wine or some tea and a light snack. Hurry back so we can get started. Been a few hours, but it felt like days Only been days, but it felt like months When we come for you, only know like once Life move fast and you do what you want I guess I'm doing what I want Hope you know what you want What you want Okay guys, let's first start with this complete damage that I, I done in June, okay? In the past, I used to give myself a $10,000 limit on luxury, you know, products, luxury items, that's fragrance, luxury shoes, handbags, whatever, all things luxury. My limit was $10,000. And I haven't even been close to that in like a year. But the month of June, I was right there. I was just, I think like $3,000 shy of reaching that $10,000 limit. So first, let's start. The first item in June, of course, you guys know I was looking for an orange handbag. The orange ammo BB in LP leather, guys, that was not up for discussion. I was going to purchase that handbag regardless. And so let me get that total. That total with tax was $2,000. Five hundred sixty-five dollars and fifty-three cents. That was June six. Okay, so that was the beginning of June. That's what started off. And then my CA sent me this picture of this beautiful mini bum bag, and I'm like, you know what? No, I'm good. I even told you guys in the stories I wasn't going to purchase. She sent it to the house. And that was it, guys. I was sold. That was it. Very, very beautiful. And so I had to purchase. I just, I had to purchase. And the price with tax, $2,197.48. And that was June 19th. I thought I was done. I was like, Marquita, that's it. I was okay because I had a Speedy 25. I had the Speedy 25 and Dame being print. I'm cool. I'm okay. And again, my CA sent me a picture, but she put the strap in front of the handbag, which I was like, oh my God, I, I need this handbag, but I want the strap. And so I, I went in and I tried it on. My husband was the cheerleader and he said that that handbag is you. And so, June 30th, I almost made it out of June. June 30th, with tax, $2,197.48. Yes, guys, I almost made it out of June. I added everything up. I added everything up, guys. And my total, $6,900. $60.49. Uh, one more handbag. And probably some luxury shoes or fragrance. I would have most definitely hit that $10,000 mark. But if I would have purchased the 20, the 20 handbag, if it was there and it wasn't a display bag, I would have hit my $10,000 mark. I would have went over the $10,000 mark. So, yeah, be good to me, July. Be good to me. <laughs> okay, so that's done, guys. Let's move on. Let's speak on first since you guys asked. 
Some of you want me to use the Ammo BB, the Damier Bean Ammo BB strap on the Speedy 20. So that's what I'm going to do first before I do a wood fits in. So let me get the strap, hang tight. Okay, here's this beauty here. Honestly, guys, this handbag has been sitting in my closet for three years. I have yet to use this handbag. I told you guys I need to do better. Still brand new. Um, guys, I mean, honestly, I can go back to LB and tell them, hey, I want to swap or I want to refund. And they will take it. It looks brand new. <laughs> And it's been three years, okay? So, let's take the strap out. The Ammo BB, guys, yes, it is a leather dark brown strap. But you have to keep in mind, it's not adjustable, okay? It's detachable, but not adjustable. So, what I am going to do now is try it on the Speedy, since that's what you guys have been asking via DM. And I am going to show you how it looks as a crossbody. But, as of right now... I have the Speedy 25 bandolier strap on this beauty right now. And I also have the bag tag, okay, from the Ammo BB on my Speedy 20. So I am going to take this strap off and I am going to add the leather strap from the Ammo BB on. And you guys be the judge. Okay, so the strap is long, as you guys can see. It is longer. Um, even though it's not adjustable. So let me put this on as a crossbody. It's a thinner strap. So guys, it's right here at my hip. For, you know, as my liking, what I like, the, the length is right here. A little bit under my hip. So it honestly works for me. But my thing is, I have to see if I like the thinner strap versus the thicker strap and i like i like the thicker strap so you guys tell me do you like the ammo bb strap better than the speedy 25 strap and i love to have different options okay as far as adjustment and so here it is this is the ammo bb strap again if you don't have the speedy 25 bandolier this is another option and it's thinner. So I am going to also try this on over the shoulder. Okay. For my classy babes, upscale babes. Here it is. So guys, this, it is a good length. It's not bad. I honestly thought it would be shorter and again, I'm 5'4 for reference. It's not bad. It's just I don't want the thinner strap. But it might work. It might work. I'm not even going to say might. This can work. It's all up to you. You have options. <laughs> thicker strap, adjustable. Thinner strap, non-adjustable. But hey, it's not bad. So... You guys let me know in the comments which one do you like better. But it most definitely can work. Okay, so I showed you guys that. And I also want to point this out. So I do have the guitar strap on the Speedy 25, okay? I asked my husband. He said, babe, this is more you. So if you have to get rid of a bag, get rid of the 25. I was like, OMG. <laughs> OMG. But he also said it doesn't make sense for me to have both in my collection. Yes, they are different handbags. But he swears up and down that I'm not going to even use this handbag. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, the strap. Changing of the strap. Taking the guitar strap off did a lot for this handbag, and I don't know what to do. Like I said, I don't know what to do. I love listening to my husband. Of course, you know, if he likes something, we want to please him, but we also, you know, we want to please our husband, but we also want to be satisfied ourselves, and I think it's basically just an attachment that I have because I've been having this for five years, but 
I don't know. Like he said, this is more me. So I wanted to, you know, tell you guys about me and my husband's conversation. And he was like, get rid of the bowling bag. That pissed me off. Okay. <laughs> so let's do, guys, a what fits in. I am going to start with the beautiful Speedy 20. And then I am going to take everything out the Speedy 20 and put it into the Ammo BB handbag. Okay. So we can see what actually fits in both and what does not so i changed it up guys i'd rather start with the ammo bb and take whatever fits in the ammo bb and see if it fits in the speedy okay so we know the ammo bb does have the wide opening so let's get this open and the beautiful red textile interior of course and so i am going to start with the beautiful braza wallet you guys know this is my favorite wallet it is now discontinued i've had this for now five years and of course with the wide opening it fits in perfect now i am going to move to the mini pochette a lot of you guys was like make sure you put items in your mini pochette because you always stuff your handbags and there's nothing in your mini pochette so guys yes it's stuff items in my mini pochette my lip gloss okay hand lotion items in so here it is The mini pochette is inside with the Braza wallet. We do have room here in the back. And I'm just going to try to see. You guys know I love my notebook. I just want to see if it fits in. I've never tried it. But yeah, guys, the notebook fits in. So I do have my notebook inside. I have the Braza wallet and I have the mini pochette fits in, okay? Just going to see if it zips with the notebook <laughs> and then i also have the key pouch and yes my key fob is inside so i'm going to put this in here in the bag and i do have additional room here in this corner and so i am going to put this vintage cigarette holder but inside i have my phone charger is a portable phone charger and so i keep it in here if i don't have my gum and so i'm going to see if this fits in the corner okay so let's see over here in the corner okay so i have the cigarette holder here and I have the key pouch, I have my notebook, the mini pochette, and the browser wallet. And let's see if it closed, okay? Because I do see the notebook here sticking out on the side. That probably gives me some issues. So let's see. Okay. You see here? It's only because of how the notebook is shaped and how the ammo BB is shaped. So let's see. And so for me, it will close, but guys, <laughs> it's no biggie. I don't need the notebook in, and honestly, it's only because of how the notebook is shaped. So I will take the notebook out because it's not a deal breaker. I can just have this in my hand. And now inside, guys, I have so much available room but these are everything that's in here is my is my daily essentials what i have to have with me every day my cell phones oh of course i have two <laughs> what was i thinking both of my cell phones okay how could i forget so this is an iphone 14 pro max Okay, so now we're running into a little problem. Okay, it's in here, the 14 Pro Max. And then here is the 14. And so I can just basically put that on top because I will be reaching for my cell phones, of course. And so both cell phones are inside. And let me see about closing. And it is quite heavy. Again if the zipper 
alignment once I zip. If it gives me a disfigure, guys, I take whatever out because it's not that serious. And the handbag most definitely is heavy. And so what I will honestly take out probably is the cigarette lighter and just use and just take this out because the i don't like having issues going in and out okay it's not that serious with some items and so i will just take my charger out the portable charger put my cell phone and guys, I'm just winging this, okay? I haven't tried any of this. And so, you see how, you know, everything fits in? And then I'll probably just put my charger here on top. Okay, so this is much better. It still is only because of the shape of the Emma BB, but I most definitely can put everything in and here it is and so i took out the cigarette holder and of course the notebook so this is everything that fits in the ammo bb this is everything that i need every day again i can honestly take the charger out as well but everything fits in fine and i love carrying my ammo bb my orange LP and my green LP because I, I don't use this. But I will prefer carrying it as a tote. I just add the strap just to give it that extra, you know, the extra spice. And this is it. And no lie, with everything in, this handbag is heavy right now. But like I said, I carry it as a tote. And everything fits in. So I am going to take everything out, put it into my Speedy 20, and let's see basically what all it holds. Okay, baby, are you ready? I love talking to my handbags. Call me crazy. <laughs> let's start with the Braza wallet, okay? My favorite. So this better work, okay? This better work. It better work. Oh my gosh, it better work. Let's see. Okay, so guys, it was a little tug, okay? Only because of the opening. You know, the Ammo BB has a wider opening, but it does fit in. Let me see taking it out. Okay, guys, it'll work. It'll work. And look, just how I put it in. That's the difference, okay? So yes, the Braza Wallet does fit in. Next, let's start with the mini pochette. The mini pochette fits in. Then I am going to reach for my iPhone 14 Pro Max. iPhone 14 Pro. Okay. And then my key pouch with the key fob. Guys, also, if you want to save room inside your handbag, you know this can hang on the outside of your bag as well. Okay? Or, you know, here on your belt. But let's put it in. Additional room inside. And you see it over here in this corner. And so let me go for my battery charger, my portable battery charger and that fits in perfect here on the side so let me see i'm going to put my battery charger back into the cigarette holder and let's see i'm knocking over things okay so let's see i'm going to put it back in here and this is a cigarette holder if you guys haven't seen one before okay and no, I don't smoke. That's why I use it for other things. <laughs> but I couldn't pass it up. I thought it was too cute. I usually put my gum inside or my lip gloss. Okay. So, here it is. And let me see how it fits. Okay. Fits in perfect. 
and I still have additional room at the top just like with the ammo BB it's just the ammo BB how the handbag is shaped guys it honestly stops you from putting certain items in and here it is everything that fit inside of the ammo BB fits inside of the speedy 20 did you guys see that and it's it has so much room still a little you see this this is additional room guys still left inside of the speedy 20. that's why we need this handbag you need the speedy 20. i just confirmed for you guys you guys need the speedy 20 okay the only thing that i would say that doesn't fit which dropped is the notebook and i told you guys it wasn't a deal breaker for me okay it's not a deal breaker i can just have this in my hand i'm gonna take it out anyway to take care of business but omg omg two different handbags two different handbags two different styles just the same print i know i'm not getting rid of my ammo bb in due time i will you know i will wear this handbag but my husband was right this is me so i'm confirming today it's 72 hours i am keeping my speedy 20 guys i am so happy now to say i am adding this baby to my collection i am truly blessed to be able to just even afford a luxury piece guys okay so we have to count our blessings no matter what it's beautiful it's beautiful guys play around with those straps and to be honest since i changed straps i don't even think about that guitar strap i don't even think about the guitar strap guys i don't i'm like oh my goodness we might look at this and say that it's mini but it holds plenty that rhymes we look at it and say that it's mini but it holds plenty don't steal that okay so guys again let me know listen there's so much room inside so let me know what you think i am going to put my strap on that i like on this beauty because i just think that the thicker strap to me looks better but if you don't have a thicker strap if you don't have the speedy 25 guys use the ammo bb strap I just, I just, I just put you on right then and there. I just showed you guys how it looks. Okay. So this is my choice. This is my choice here. And I absolutely love it. And the Ammo BB for sure is staying in my collection and also the Speedy 20. So guys, let's talk amongst ourselves let me know what you think and before i get off of here some of you guys wanted me to put the new guitar strap on the mini bum bag and also the monogram speedy 20 and once i do that guys hey let's chit chat let me know what you think okay so i'm not even gonna lie i just found this handbag <laughs> this is the fleecy strap and go it actually comes with a guitar strap just a thinner guitar strap and so I was like, you know what? Let me just see how the strap looks on here as well. And let me adjust because I have it honestly too short. And this is so hard, guys. And a lot of you are worrying about getting it dirty. But hey, I don't wear my handbags like that. So I'm totally fine. And I don't worry about the peach fuzz. Like you said, the fuzz balls and all of that stuff i'm going to use my items because i paid for it i'm not worrying about that but here it is i think it's i think it's cute even though it's a smaller handbag i know we complained about it being on the speedy 20 being a small handbag but i think it honestly looks cute with this i guess because the speedy kind of bulges out a little but here it is and oh my goodness let me see does it go around my waist <laughs> I didn't want this video to be this long either. Let me see. Okay, no. It's a little long. But you guys know I love to try things. So, no. Can't go around the waist. 
too big. Okay, so now let me try it on the mini bone bag like you guys requested. And also the Speedy 20. Okay, so here it is on the Monogram Speedy 20. And I don't like it. I'm just letting you guys know now. I don't like it. Not just because it's a bigger strap. You know, we talked about that being on the Dominate Bean Speedy 20. But the dark chocolate color here, the leather piece up against this canvas. And for me, it just, it's a no. Okay. But again, you guys wanted me to try it. You, we have our bruschetta here. And the dark brown, to me, it kind of clash. But if you guys wanted to use it like this, hey, be my guest. I'm just here to show you. Okay, and so now let's try the bone bag, and it has some bruschetta on there as well on the smaller mini bone bag. So let's see how this is going to turn out. Right now, I have the reverse monogram strap on here, which is absolutely one of my favorite ways to wear the mini bone bag with, you know, with the change of strap. So let me take this off. Oh, God, we have to have a day just just playing with straps. I might do that on my live. You know, just have a day just playing with straps. So here the mini bone bag goes. And let me add the strap. And if you don't have the mini bone bag, you most definitely are missing out. This handbag, this mini bone bag holds both of my phones, guys. Some of you guys are steady asking me, and I'm... I'm telling you, I'm sticking beside this mini bone bag. <laughs> it holds both of my phones. So here it is on the mini bone bag. Okay, it does have a shutter here as well. So you guys let me know. I don't know. How does it look? I guess because the, the monogram speedy had so much of a shutter. You let me know. So here it is, guys. You wanted me to try it on the mini bum bag. I did exactly what you guys told me because I love you. So let me know. How do you like it? Okay, so guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And guys, these CAs are reaching out to me. Y'all are going into these boutiques, showing my YouTube videos. Shout out to you guys. Thank you guys so much for the love and for following me and supporting me. But you guys are looking for the mini bum bag. Y'all have to chill out. Y'all can't go in there all forceful talking about, hey, can you give me this bag? Marquita LV Luxury has it in. Don't put my name in. Don't put my name in that mess. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for tuning in. As always, stay safe. Stay blessed until handbag bestie Friday. Bye-bye.